So we're going to start with create design and select menu. Um, see down the side here you've got all these options if you've not used Canva before. So we're just going to go in and add our heading. Very simple, you can change the font, the size and the colour here at the top. So to create your balloons, so we're going to go in elements and search for a sphere, just went with green, but you can obviously choose any colour you like. And this is a nice shiny round one that looks similar to a balloon. And if you see down here, you've got magic recommendations. And if you click see all, it gives you all these different options of colours. So you can choose some nice colours for your menu. I don't really like the green, so I'm going to choose this nice green here. Let me get rid of that one. And I also want a sand colour. Similar to this, but not quite. I want to edit that. So you can also click Edit Photo. And if you see under here, Filters gives you all different shades. So I quite like this one. And I would also like a pink. So graphics, and I'm going to go for this pink here. It's a nice pink. So I want to make the balloons quite small. build a balloon stack. See how it's gone behind the balloons there. So if you want to bring them forward, if you click these three dots, and click on layer and bring to front. You can see, put that to the front for you. And we're going to duplicate these. So create our design. Okay. So now we need a number. So all we're going to do. Done, but obviously you can search for any colour you want to put on yours and we can get the image right click save image as and I'm just going to go back to my desktop when you saved it you don't click on here uploads I'm just going to change the background colour just to show you what it's like when you edit the photo that you've just uploaded. So you can see how it's got the white bit, so we want to get rid of that. You click on edit photo and here you've got a background remover. You can see now, it's got rid of all that white. 
plastic bit, which we don't want. And then you can add it onto your stack. And then just for an extra little touch of gold. So, any graphics. So, a lot of these elements that I'm using are the pro version but there are a lot of bits on free that you could also do as well to make something quite similar so there's a simple balloon stack so if you wanted to get a bit more creative so let's do an easel search for easel What we're going to do with these ones is basically create a little balloon quad. Right, as well. I'm searching flowers. This one's quite pretty. And just make a little flower swag there. And make that some roses in too. So if you want to create a balloon hoop, this is one that I've got saved already that I've just literally googled and saved the image like we did with the balloon number and then we're going to edit photo and background remover and that makes it like that. And then again, we're going to get our balloon quads and just go around and do your hoop.
glue that on the wall. So that's made that one image for you. You can easily move around. <clears throat> and then just to add your little text description. So if you go to text and add a little bit of body text and full hoop. And that is basically the techniques I use to create my balloon template. It was my end result using those techniques that I've just showed you on this video. Obviously I spent a lot of time putting it together but it's definitely worth it in the end. So yeah, thank you very much for watching my tutorial and I really hope it is going to help you.